you seem like a morning person. Like yeah. you've got are all you this not, energy. What? I'm are really you? not. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like I've been up since six. So to me, this is like right. the afternoon. Okay. Right. Right. It's right. about to be lunch. Are you somebody who has trouble sleeping because like your mind is always going like oh with like God. ideas? I'm a person that will stay up until five in the morning knowing I have to get up at six. Aye. So oh. I really didn't go to sleep until like four. Okay. So I was like, well, forget it. I might as well just stay up. So I'm kind of running off of yesterday's mm -hmm. energy. <laughs> we also, I mean, the album's out today, so I understand why you wouldn't sleep. Right? I'm so excited. I'm right? on edge all night. Like, first of all, I stay up all night thinking about all kind of stuff. I'm writing random lyrics. I'm just thinking about what I want to eat the next day. Maybe mm. I shouldn't eat right now. It's six o'clock in the morning. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but my album is out. I was so on edge about the album because this is like the first time I've ever been so personal. Yeah. Um, and this is like the first time I've ever treated my music like this. Like, usually I write music and I'm like, okay, I'm sad, but I'll write body. Or, like, right, right. or you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm upset. Okay, I'm writing Freak Nasty. Like, okay. you know? <laughs> but this is the first time I've, like, written music about how I, like, actually feel and not how I want to feel. Well, let me say, let me say that the album is called Traumazine. Did I say yeah. that right? Yes. So th this is the uh, definition: a chemical released to the, in the brain when it's forced to deal with painful emotions mm. caused by traumatic events and experiences. Mm -hmm. That's kind of been your life That's for the deep. last yeah. two years. Yeah, like probably the past three years. Mm. Um, like. I kind of wanted to talk about everything that's been happening to me since like 2019, like yeah. since my mom passed. Yeah. And I feel like I just kind of worked through it. Like I never really dealt with it. And I'm not saying I'm like still in a good place about it. I'm not saying I worked through it at all. Like I just feel like now I'm coming to a place like where it's all hitting me. Like, oh my gosh, all this stuff is happening to me. It did happen to me. I go through so much and I feel like I just always keep it inside and I always just just keep working through it, but now I'm kind of feeling like, dang, it's... You have to deal I'm, with it. I have to deal with this. I can't yeah. keep not talking about it. I can't keep running from it. Like, I got to deal with this. Was it a release? Was it cathartic when you were in the studio? Were you, like, in, on, like on the mic and you would start to cry? Like, was this, like, a like I was a crying more so writing the songs than recording the songs. Like, mm -hmm. it kind of felt like a weight off my chest a little bit, yeah. like, actually saying some of these things out loud. Um, but yeah, it felt like it felt good to like say it out loud. And I feel like it feels good to like have people understand where I'm coming from. Cause so many people could tell my story. So many people got something to say about me and they don't even know me, but right. I'm like, okay, well, how about this? Let me put a little bit of my feelings in my music. And then, you know, you can see where I'm coming from. <laughs>